Good afternoon, everybody. And how are we all doing? Don't know what's going up in the air right now. But anyway, I should probably guess by the title. Yes, we are talking about Sarah Hingham. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because it's I've been watching it on a few other YouTube shorts, uh, or shorts, YouTubers, and I'm like... Yeah, I agree, the police need to do something about this, and I'm sure they are. But, it's she's, Sarah, you're also in the wrong for doxing. So, long story short, this young lad that they have said the name, I'm not going to say the name on my channel. Um, because I, yeah. Anyway, I can't really remember, because I think he's got a few different names. I don't know which is which. Anyway, so this young lad has been harassing uh, the Hingham family for the past six years I think or longer maybe and sends up to like a 50 to 80 emails a day making not so nice unaliving threats and also sorry there's a message just popped up on my phone as I was talking um how rude anyway so saying stuff like that and if you go over across to the raccoon I think the dad the dad something podcasts um and a few other youtube tubers are doing the video on this and i get where sarah's coming from i do and i don't agree with what this young lad has done he's sending these unaliving and threats and blah blah, blah. if you go to the other channels i've just said you'll probably see them and they give out the names i'm not doing that because that's wrong and I kind of get where Sarah's coming from she's fed up i don't know saying the police aren't doing enough to support her and i'm sure they are but there's only so much they could do, you know what I mean? I think they do need to take it seriously. But because he's autistic, this young lad that's doing it, I don't think he, he understands what he's doing is wrong. In fact, if you go over to look on the Dougal uh, Raccoon channel, he does admit that he has sent these messages, but he's never, ever threatened the kids. So, Sarah, are you lying? Uh, yeah, because she's saying that he's saying, not just sending her uh, messages but he's sending the children messages and he's threatening to do harm to them as well which he's admitted on messages that he sent to raccoon that he has not threatened the children and again this young lad i don't know where he lives somewhere in the uk i know it but i'm not going to say but they the hingham family live over in dubai now if you're that scared which she says she is you would not want to be coming back to the uk right now especially with all the riots going off just my opinion but then in a way why should she have to hide so i kind of get why she's coming and also the kids are going to their um taylor swift concert which is in london now she's taught, I think she's already said what dates are going. So if you're that scared, why give the dates or where you're going to be and where, that you're back in the UK? Because surely if that was me, I'm not kidding you, I won't be coming home. I'd be staying where I am. Especially today, today's, uh, I can't think what I'm saying, of all the riots and all the stuff that's going up in the world, I'd rather stay where I thought I was safe. Anyhow, that's, that's my opinion on that. What do you think, guys? But what she's done is wrong as well in the fact that if this young lad goes go to the police, she'll probably be getting in trouble for giving out his address and his phone number and where he works. The young lad has admitted that he uses his mum's TikTok account, so it's not his mum that's messaging her. But then it looked like they were taking a mick out the way that they looked. Now, I'm sorry, but that's a bit of a no-no. That's bullying. Uh, I, I, don't get, I know she's frustrated. Look, this is... She probably didn't think about it for, and just give out the numbers and his address, where he worked, and more out of anger. I get that. But you're also in the wrong. So now something happened to this young lad who is vulnerable, who's autistic, and has learning difficulties. Then you're in the wrong now because he's going to end up getting hurt, and you're. Yeah. So, you know, it kind of works both ways. If you do. If, giving someone's personal information out there, that's the thing. And. What's your opinion, guys? Because I am left scratching my ass. I don't know. I kind of get where Sarah's coming from. But then I'm like, no, you shouldn't have done that. Because now that, you know, I won't say poor lad is in the wrong as well. And let the police deal with it. Don't be doing that. Because now that they're going to get targeted. 
For what? Because I farm don't give two shits, do they? They will go and they torment people. I know because I've had it done to me. I'm not kidding. So far up the Ingham's backside, it's unreal. But then they fall, they, you know what I mean? They fall them from the start. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that being said, I think I'm going to go leave you with that thought. What do you think? Is she on the wrong? Is she in the wrong? Or would you do the exact same thing if you were getting um, death threats and this and that? And would you take it seriously? Well, I would. <laughs> I've been making sure the police do something about it. And I'm sure she's frustrated. I get that. So I do feel for her in that aspect. But obviously, she's in the wrong for giving out someone's a vulnerable person's address and where they work and their phone number. And he also, on the do on the Raccoons channel, go and check him out. He's admitted it. He's admitted doing what he's done to the Ingham family because he believes that the the kids are they're not um something with child exploitation or something they don't have contact uh oh I can't get the word out. They don't give they don't ask permission to be filmed. Which is okay, I get I agree. But he said he's never threatened the kids, so obviously someone's lying. Mm. Well, let's see how the story ends. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna love you and leave you because I've got the cat sat here wanting some attention, and I just wanted to come on and let this work because it's been bothering me as well. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, comment below. Let me know. Would you do what Sarah's done, or would you leave it in the hands of the police? See you later guys, don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button if you haven't already and that notification bell and I will catch up with you in the next video. See you later.